Let's see. What is our reading going to be about today? I feel you have a new spark in your life. You have a new spark in your life, don't you? Yeah, and you're like, this is this is somebody that's really sweet. I mean, ch kind, charming, funny. Do they have pure intentions with me? I see that this person could have been very patient with you. So they, they could have been somebody you've met. You could have met them at the gym. You could have known them for quite a bit of time. It just feels like somebody who has asked you out before and you could have said no because you're with somebody else. You you were in a state or a time frame of life where you're like, I don't want to be in a relationship. And they're very respectful. They weren't forceful. Um, but they made it quite known. Hey, I, I'm, I'm willing to ring your doorbell when you're ready. Very interesting. Yeah, this is a good vibe. This is a patient person that knows what the fuck they want. And they stated, I'm going to get it. Awesome. All right. So where is this connection going between you two? So far, so good is what you've heard. You've liked what you've seen. They've passed the test. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I think that's more spirit. Yeah. They're not letting their insecurities keep them with anybody of the past. They just, as above, so below, there could have been somebody that you were going into some mental turmoil about before this person came pop back into your life or at least your head focused to, you know, maybe that could be something. Yeah, this person, they haven't flied, they, they never flew away from you. They, they, they really, truly were like, hey, I'm going forth with my life, but I'm still in the hair in the background. I'm going forth with my life. I don't fight for blood. I fight for soul. Meaning they, they don't care that the 3D world touch wasn't able to happen. They always felt this connection to you. Wow. Last little bit of cards before we start reading. They're very attractive physically, emotionally, mentally. I sense very healthy cheeks is what they want me to state. And eyes. Very, very nice. Alright, that's our cards. Let's see what we received. Wow. So, yeah, this person, you've either figured out after a long time of them being in your life that they're very serious about you. They're different than other individuals. And you have had enough time single and alone to know thyself and you know, ready to fly towards this. Ready to it's not it's like they're it's like they're the pilot. And they've been waiting in their own personal plane, jet, etc. for you. And you're ready to walk and embark this journey with them. Uh, the other part of you who are resonating with this reading, you just broke up with somebody. You just broke up with somebody and you realize there's been somebody else in the background this whole time. And you're almost like, I just, I just want to go straight to this. You have to take what resonates. But for a lot of you, that is a yes. You see, this is what you either the person you just separated with or the individuals that you were entertaining in your life. And then this is this new person, this individual you've had these aha moments about. There was a person who they had so much debt. This could be literally physical debt or it could be karma. It's like somebody that for some reason things can always go bad for them it's because they were never allowing themselves to have a balance of giving and getting. I see an individual that could have had some form of substance abuse issues and that's that can mean much more than one thing. An individual that is always also in the same expression trying to help out others that they completely fly away what's best for them. This individual would help others before they made time for you. 
You had an ex who, your ex is, they're not a terrible person. Not the one we're channeling for, at least in this reading. Their inner child screams for them and they don't hear it. They try to heal others. They try to heal themselves through others. You always gave them this balance, give and take. And they almost felt that you were stronger than they did completely feel that you were stronger than them and that you they, they didn't need that you didn't need their nurture to know that they loved you that they could focus on other people they that they wanted to be this superhero they had a superhero complex almost of wanting to save everybody else that they self-sabotaged this person was it was and is beautiful your ex or the one that was the fling that you decided i'm cutting off they have dreams and hopes and inspiration and aspirations, etc. But you see that they're not once like their moments of fireworks and excitement and inspiration fade away. They're not holding consistency to their words, their actions, etc. They have beautiful ideas and so much potential. And it's not that they're not successful. They are. Whatever they're doing, they're successful, but they're limiting themselves. They still have time to figure their own stuff out, to see which way they're going to go. If they're going to overcome everything that's happened or they're going to continue the same cycle. You see, you are extremely strong emotionally, physically, mentally, everything, spiritually. You have psychic abilities and you've taken a long time of realizing I feel other people's energy and I have to defer what is mine versus others. You realize that whoever you surround yourself with cannot be a person that just walks in and out of self-trust. They have to have self believance And a person that doesn't just speak and have all these beautiful thoughts but actually goes ahead you see you're the kind charitable source as well you and your ex were both very and are very successful people and when you were together it was like candy beautiful sweet the sex could have been amazing the intimacy however that resonates but when you were apart they were always distracted so this individual that you broke off with or broke up with take it as it resonates and you've came to an aha moment about somebody else that's been very patient and basically kind of been like they, they did not hold themselves off for you. They went forth with life and knew when the time was right, you guys would find your way back together if you were meant for each other. You could have or could not have dated this person in the past, but telling you, for most of you here, it's somebody that you at least only went on a couple of dates with or never even like you acknowledge that they were an attractive person that you vibed with them but you had other things you had other people that you were figuring stuff out with they're a very emotionally strong person that patience is something that is one of their biggest strengths and took them a lifetime of pain to master. They've overcame addiction. They understand the law of attraction. They're very experienced in their craft, whatever they do, and they're willing to learn more. They can see the moments in their life that has room for expansion. They see what they can bring to the table they know their worth and that's extremely attractive. They have pure intentions. This person stays single. And go with me here, okay? This, this person stays single by choice. They have a lot of options and they're confident, not cocky. They know that they're not going to settle for anybody. So the fact that they give you the time of the day shows the worth that you both see in each other. 
the worth that they see in, in themselves. So yeah, that's the type of man or the type of person that you should want. Because I feel like most of you here today, collective still, still takes what resonates, but I feel like most of you here today are feminines listening. I always have a mix of both. If you're the masculine here, then you are resonating with the side of what we're talking about with the masculine in this reading. It's you. You're the one that's like, yo, I've been the patient motherfucking G. I've been the one who I've gone with my life. I've held this confidence and, and I'm not strutting my stuff. I'm fucking holding my shit, my own. And they're reaching out to me. You know where you fall. This uh, date is faded. And there's going to be other people. They really highly suggest don't. When you start a new relationship, the best thing you can do is not tell people about it. Because when you're in the forming stages of a relationship where you're learning how each other work and your quirks and everything and establishing trust, you get other opinions involved in that. It's just asking for trouble. Okay. This person is freeing yourself from malevolent will. It is fate. It is destiny. It's been all about you guys meeting, passing each other, driving by, and then finding your way back together. This individual, absolutely, the masculine, I wouldn't say fell in love, but knew that they could love you knew that if something between you two actually ever formed that this would be something that was end game they're not about tricks and they also are a person that keeps their private life private their charm is not game it is who they are their smile their beauty is not a mask it's who they are they have been on the other side of many dynamics where they were tricked, misled, and very toxic dynamics. And they stated, I will no longer deal with anybody like that. This individual knows what the fuck they want. And it's you. So forward movement from here. And we'll let you know depending on if you're the masculine or feminine. We'll start with the feminine. Right. So, <laughs> this person's absolutely uh, a poet in a sense. They, they, are, they could be an author, a writer, or it's just the way they speak, the way they move, the way they glide. You feel as if they're just wiser for, than their age. This individual you do not have to travel far to be with. Spirit will make it to where you intertwine. Other dynamics like the person who you could have just broken up with could have been a person that was very long distance or it was like pulling teeth and hair to try to meet up. That's not how it's going to be with this masculine. This masculine will drive to you and alongside the masculine strength, their feminine, their nurture, their compassion, their sympathy is something that they hold to a high golden standard. They're a masculine that can protect you, but also be your sweetness. And they're stating to go and accept this offer. If you're the masculine here, get your home ready. You both got, so it's crazy because, so the feminine's got Hermione's wand, okay? And the masculine's got Hermione. Get ready, make your house, make your home, make your car, everything very beautiful. A woman always pays attention to the way your house and especially your bathroom is and your car. When the woman comes into your home, ask if it's cold, do you, can I take your scarf, can I take your jacket? If you're going out to eat, pull the chair out. Take her jacket off, put it on the chair, let her sit down and gradually scoot her chair in. I'm telling you, you're walking to the restaurant, in the store, whatever, and you're on the road. 
okay? You know how two people on the road, let's say these are cars are parked and this is uh, an open space, cars are driving. You masculine better make sure you're on this end, feminine's here, facing the parked cars as protection. You see, protection barrier. You show her you are the protection barrier, that you are one with self. You are confident. You don't go overboard and do these things because you think you should and oh look at me no this is you you are the realistic knight in shining armor a big thing to know is she loves or they okay whoever it is for you masculine if you're the masculine here they love cologne perfume the way you smell hypnotizing for them so whatever your aroma is, make sure to wear that. Alrighty, that's what I got for y'all today. This is awesome. Go get what's yours. Alright? Alright. Let's get it.